Yep, we got a Tascam DP24 Digital Porter Studio, brand new one, into the uh, Pro Audio DVD Studio. Let's check it out. Okay, inside we have a user manual with a USB cable, a power supply, and the unit itself. Let's get it out on the bench. So I guess first impressions, this thing is solid. I mean, I don't know, there's a, there's a few portable studios around the place or, you know, portable recording studios that are pretty kind of lightweight. This thing just feels solid. It's built like an absolute tank. Um, one thing was interesting when firing it up, you would think you just press the button or press the button for a couple of seconds, but you really got to hold it down for a number of seconds before it fires up into life. Um, I'm hearing some sort of drive inside. I know it runs off uh, um, uh, SD cards, which will you can pop straight in the back here, and any kind of card will do. I mean, that was, that's that's pretty cool idea to be able to record on that rather than uh, hard drives. It'll be a lot better for you know people migrating from a, a 2488 to be able to do that. Um, screen's gorgeous. I mean, that was one of the first things I saw my, when I showed my son. He was like, man, that looks really, really cool. Um, it just seems really sturdy. Um, certainly love the way you get around, like in the mixer screen here. You have a uh, three-band EQ, low shelf, high shelf, and a, and a parametric mid with a Q. A couple of effects. And the interesting thing about the effects sends is that the first effects send will deal with the internal effect but the the effects n2 doesn't do anything inside the machine it goes out the back in fact on the on the rear panel you have a couple of effects send uh, send outputs so one and two both of these guys will go out the back into whatever you want but the first one here is routed inside the machine um, eight inputs gotta love that uh, it has those combo jacks that'll take a quarter inch or a um, uh, an XLR Phantom that can be placed on the, f the first four or the second four that's switchable you know on either of these guys there with a high uh, Z if I can reach it yeah high Z input on input H there um, what else we got CD burner built in uh, what else did I see in here effects are pretty cool and in terms of dynamics just think of the dynamics as being up here and then the effects down here as being on the track. So in the dynamic effects, you have up to eight compressors or what was it, noise suppressors, DSs and exciters uh, that you can place on these guys on the way in. And of course, they'll be married, they'll be um, recorded onto the, onto the tracks. But then in terms of the effect down here, there's basically two different types. There's um, uh, a guitar effect and also a send and return effect. The guitar effect here can be placed either in line with any of these tracks so you can record them as you're uh, recording down to these tracks or else it can be um, positioned to just play back on a single track. So basically you have one uh, guitar effect processor. It can be in line and be recorded on the tracks as you go so you can have different settings every time you record a new track or on playback it can just be uh, um, uh, tied to just the playback of one track. And then there's the send as well, which like I said is tied to the, the first effect send. And you have things like reverb, uh, chorus and delay that can be placed uh, in varying amounts across all of these guys here. So, I mean, this is a very, uh, I just got it out of the box. I haven't even, you know, uh, written the script for it yet. Seems like it's a really, really nice um, you know, Of course, you have USB on the back, so you can you know, zip files back and forth between a, a computer. But man, the SD card thing, really love that. Uh, first impressions, it's just built like a tank. Um, what else? I mean, there's, there's track editing, you can bounce, mastering, mix down, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and with the built-in CD burner, this looks like it's going to be a, a good one. I'm going to spend the next, um, I don't know, next two or three days really getting a knot. And then we'll start scripting it and start shooting the sucker. And very soon we'll have a fully in-depth 
uh, DVD tutorial on this guy here. This is just first impressions out of the box. I really haven't got to get to know it uh, soon. So check back on ProAudioDVDs.com and there'll be a full length. Um, it's probably going to be two, you know, at least two hours on the DP24. It's kind of a cool box. Looking forward to making the DVD. Ciao, guys.